Hey, what up everybody? Nero the Hero here, and today I wanted to talk about this. And that. Okay, enough messing around. So I decided it was about time that I upgraded my audio equipment, more specifically my microphone solution when it came to my voice recordings and voice acting and content creation and video stuff and things like that. So I decided to go with this. This is the newer NW800 XLR microphone. This bad boy cost me $20. And it actually came with quite a few things. So it came with the microphone. It came with the windscreen here that you see on the microphone. It also came with the shock mount that you see that is also on the microphone. And in addition to that, it came with an XLR cable. Now the XLR cable it came with was an XLR to a 3.5 millimeter. So the reason it comes with that size of an audio cable is because according to the product description, you should be able to just plug this straight into your PC and that is enough um, that will provide enough power in order to for you to use the microphone so all that's well and good but I wanted to take it a step further and so I ended up getting a mixer as well this is the Xenix uh, Q802 USB mixer so it's uh, from Behringer so Behringer they're pretty reputable for as far as audio equipment and stuff goes so yeah that's mainly what influenced my buying decision behind the mixer also there's two versions of this mixer there's a USB version and a non USB version which uses your traditional sort of uh, audio connection so the reason I decided to go with the USB version was honestly it was just purely out of curiosity because I've heard mixed reviews on USB mixtures. I've heard people I've heard people um on I've seen tweets of people on Twitter and I've also talked to a couple of people that are like, oh yes, USB microphones and or USB mixers, sorry. These USB mixers are like so awesome and great and convenient. And then like there's other people that are like, they're great, they're okay, they're cool, but they got their problems and stuff. So I mean, inherent to any product that's going to have its pros and cons. So yeah, so I just kind of wanted to talk about mainly the mixer because the microphone, it's its a microphone. I mean, you're listening to me speaking into it right now, so hopefully it sounds good. I Hopefully I got my settings all dialed in and stuff like that. So in case any of you are asking too, you're probably not. You're, um, I'm actually still using voice meter as well in combination with this mixer. Now hear me out because... Part of the reason I started using voice meter to begin with was because the blue snowball didn't sound the way I would like it to. So what I used voice meter for intentionally or initially rather, what I used voice meter for initially was sort of as a sort of FX or FX rack, as you can say. So it was basically taking the audio signal from the blue snowball and enhancing it. It was basically just applying its own sort of compression to the audio signal. So then I was sending the mic audio from the microphone into voice meter voice meter was doing its thing then it spit it out back into my pc so i can then route that to my headphones my monitor speakers or external speakers or whatever so that aside i'm still using voice meter just sort of as a, an extra layer of compression so there is a knob here which will um let's see if i'm talking into it right now and i turn this down as you can see it's affecting the audio signal so that's pretty much what compression is well compression it's it's a really complicated thing i don't fully understand it in my brain but essentially from what i understand from it compression is essentially a device or a module of some sort that takes your audio signal and then boosts everything across the board without necessarily uh clipping or increase having to increase gain or anything like that it's kind of it's sort of like like if you're playing a game and you're applying post-processing effects to the game, that's kind of what a compressor is essentially, for lack of a better term. That's kind of like my own, that's kind of how I rationalize it in my brain anyways. So that aside, um, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and it's pretty cool. It's great. I mean, as you can see, like you, if you've listened to any of my videos or watched any of my videos before, my audio was all right. It was okay. But you know, it still kind of had that if you not necessarily everybody can see it but if you were kind of a stickler for audio or something like that you'd listen to him like that's a definitely a digital audio signal he's using a usb microphone i can tell because my ears are really good moving right along let's talk a little bit more about the kind of pros and cons of this equipment here so one thing that 
I definitely noticed right away immediately about this mixer and I already knew about this going in. I just thought maybe it was kind of an isolated issue, but it turns out it's actually pretty dang common with this mixer in particular is that the supports for it little feet, they're a little uneven. So like if you have it on a flat surface, even though it's on a flat surface, it'll still, it's still wobbly. So it's weird. Like it, there's like, you would think that you think that that wouldn't happen because, and if you did think that that would happen, you think it would be kind of like a more limited or rare occurrence. But I think it's just, I think it's just legitimately, legitimately a design flaw. So, um, what I've done was I kind of like put something underneath one of the feet to like stabilize it sort of. And then that's, that's pretty much it. It's done. It's, it's fixed. So it's really not that big of an issue. Like I can, like before it was very dramatic, but like, now that I'm pushing on the corner, before but let me, I'll, I'll cut to a clip of me actually unboxing the thing so you can actually see how wobbly it was. So. Oh yeah, there it is right there. So yeah, I don't know. This table might not be the best surface, but anyways, that's just something to be mindful of when you are looking at products. Um, you definitely don't want a mixer that's going to be doing that during your recording session because you know, you. Even if you just like bump it or tap it or something like that, it'll still, you know, that'll basically, that can ruin your recording session, so. Aside from that, um, the only other real, I guess what you could consider as a negative, depending on who you are, whether you care or not, whether this is a value to you, is the fact that this actually doesn't have an on and off switch. So what it does have instead, it's just kind of like a proprietary audio connection or audio connection. What it has there, what it has instead is a, it's just a power connector. So you just plug it in and it powers up and that's it. So it basically just stays on until you unplug it. So, I mean, one possible solution for that is to maybe just plug the thing into like a power strip that does have a switch. That way you can just switch it on and off as you see fit. So, I mean, I just, I just leave the dang thing on because I really don't care. It's not that big of a deal to me. So, I mean, but if that thing is a big deal to you, then that is something that you should definitely take into consideration. I'm not sure if that applies to the um, non-USB version of this. So I'll look that up and put it somewhere as like a thing. So, <laughs> so all in all, I pretty satisfied with this purchase. I mean, the microphone's good. It works in conjunction with the mixer. Great. And I think my audio sounds better because this also means now that I have like a actual physical mixer, I can do things on the fly, like here, as opposed to having to pull up voice meter, the voice meter window. Cause right now all voice meter is really doing is it just controls uh, the various audio channels within my PC. I mean, there's the two microphone inputs here and then I can also um, atta uh, attach, I can also use either instrument or an effects rack or something like that as an input going into the mixer as well. Other than that, I mean, it's just, because pretty much I just have it just like I usually have it set up in voice meter. I just have my hardware input one as this. This is my actual hardware input one because it's a USB device. So I can just click it in there and there it goes. I mean, I would still be able to do that if it had an, um, an a traditional audio connection or 3.5 millimeter as well. It's It would work just the same either way. I just, again, it was just the curiosity that of the USB technology that made me want to try it out. And aside from that, I mean, that's really all I have to say about this thing. I'm going to be trying to come out with a lot more content, um, more regularly anyways. Um, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. I just wanted to kind of focus on my audio equipment, just in case any of you out there were kind of thinking that you wanted to be more professional or have a better kind of like studio sound for your home studio or your office or recording area. And if you're trying to get into it for a fairly reasonable price point um the microphone along with the mixer after everything including like a i think i got an additional uh warranty or accident production through square trade which is an additional three dollars and 70 cents so after that i think it was about 118 dollars after shipping uh from amazon um, it wasn't like a bundle deal or anything like that. I don't trust those anymore because you always usually end up spending more than you would if you were to just look for two separate products yourself. Cause Amazon usually, cause they got to make a profit. Got to respect that. I mean, they got to make a profit. I mean, but it is convenient, but 
that aside, it's just that's a whole nother Amazon thing. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble now, and it sounds it's a pretty good sounding rambling though, isn't it? Don't you don't you think? I think so. And I can also get a little bit closer. I can get a lot closer to this thing too, especially if I want to do the kind of bass enhancement. If I want to get up here, just like just like talk in your ear, just be like, hey, how's it going? And then yeah, okay. So I'm gonna back off a little bit because that. <laughs> I didn't, I don't know where to go from there. So with that, I'm just going to end this video. This is just a, this was just a real quick and dirty thing. I'll probably do minimal editing as far as this video goes. I might throw up a little bit in background music. So it's just not my voice droning on and on and on and on. Oh, one thing I like about this microphone is the fact that I can do this. <laughs> I'm dumb. With that, I'm going to call this video. Until we meet again, you guys, take care of yourselves and each other, do something heroic today, and demand something better, just out of life. In gaming, out of life, just all of that stuff. I think I'm reworking my sign out. That's what that's all about. Anyways, this is Neo the Hero, signing out. Peace.